Hey everyone, what's up? So today I am going to show you how to make this delicious, crunchy gochujang cauliflower dish. I came up with this recipe because I was thinking about college. You know how it goes. One of my favorite restaurants at Urbana was this place called Mandarin Walk, this little hole in the wall Chinese restaurant. And their best dish was definitely their General Tso's chicken. So I thought, it's about time I veganized it. And that is how this recipe came to be. So as the name suggests, you're gonna start out with one whole head of cauliflower. And I'm chopping it up here into slightly larger than bite-sized pieces. We're actually gonna be marinating the cauliflower for a little bit and you don't want it to break down too much. Otherwise, you're just gonna be eating popcorn cauliflower, I guess. If you're into that, then maybe go ahead and cut it up as small as you like, but I'm leaving them into pretty large pieces, as you can see. And then we're gonna take all this and dump it into a large bowl and create a very simple marinade. The marinade is gonna start out with one tablespoon of vegetable base. I'm using better than bouillon. It's called no chicken, but it actually tastes like chicken. And then we're going to add three tablespoons of plant milk. I'm using fat-free oat milk here. I'm gonna try and mix it up with a spoon here and eventually I give up and just use my hands. So use whatever you like, but you do wanna make sure that they're all evenly coated. You're gonna set that aside and then welcome back, Mr. Garlic. Oh yeah. We're gonna chop up about five to six cloves of garlic. You can mince it up or as I do here, you can just slice it up into thin pieces. The garlic gets really nice and soft and sweet here in this recipe, so it's not bad to have some bigger chunks if you don't mind. After we slice up the garlic, then we are going to chop up some onion. So I didn't have a red onion, and guys, be aware, at the time that I'm making this, there's currently a salmonella recall of onions, so if you don't wanna use onions, you can skip this all together, or of course, you can use my favorite substitute, a shallot. I am gonna chop this up into bigger chunks again because I think the onion is just so delicious in this recipe. You can do the same thing with the shallot. We're also gonna chop up about two whole leaves of red cabbage. I love red cabbage. I use it in as many recipes as I can get away with. The crunch is fantastic, the color is fabulous, and of course the antioxidants are amazing. We're also going to julienne an entire carrot, and I'm using this nifty little julienne, or you can find the link for this below in the description. And then I'm gonna take my knife through it and just finely, finely dice it. This again is gonna add texture, color, and a little bit of sweetness to the recipe. And then we are going to chop up two whole scallions. You guys know I love scallions, especially this time of year. Such a pretty color. We're gonna dump that into our veggie prep bowl and then we're gonna create our sauce. We're gonna start out with one teaspoon of that vegetable base again, one teaspoon of mustard, as well as two tablespoons of maple syrup. We're gonna follow that up with one tablespoon of regular soy sauce, as well as one tablespoon of light soy sauce. And then we're going to add one teaspoon of this vegetarian oyster sauce. It's made out of oyster mushrooms. You can find the link for this below. We're gonna add one teaspoon of gochujang, as the name suggests, and one half tablespoon of cornstarch to help thicken the sauce. We're gonna whisk this thoroughly and then set it aside for later. Now we have to create our dredge. We're gonna start out with one cup of cornstarch, add to this some cracked black pepper, as well as a little bit of garlic powder. You're actually gonna double this so that you end up with two cups of the cornstarch, etc. We're gonna start by dredging just as much cauliflower as we can without using up all the dredge, but you are gonna to have to refill your bowl at some point. As you can see, I am thickly, thickly coating each chunk of cauliflower. You don't want a thin coat here, you want a thick coat. We're gonna drop each piece in the hot oil. We wanna make sure we're not gonna crowd our pan. If the pan gets crowded, the temperature of the oil drops and then you're gonna get soggy, not crunchy cauliflower. 
I'm gonna cook this for about three minutes until the cauliflower gets really nice and brown, and then I'm gonna snack on it while I wait for my next batch. I swear to God, this cauliflower tastes so good without any sauce, it's like freaking crack. Again, dredging and dropping in the hot oil, waiting until it gets lovely and golden brown, and then I'm going to remove it from the oil and place it on a cooling rack to drain. You guys can double fry the cauliflower, which means once you've fried it once, you can drop it back into the oil to fry it again for extra crunch, but honestly, I was too lazy. Look at my landscape of fried cauliflower. So good. You should be really proud of me that I didn't actually end up eating this all and totally ruining my recipe video. We're gonna add some oil along with the chopped up veggies to a hot pan. I'm gonna get them nice and soft before we add a third of a cup of vegetable broth. And then we're gonna whisk in our sauce here. We're gonna stir that up. And then of course, we're gonna add just a little bit more heat with some dried chilies. If you don't have any dried chilies, you can skip this. We're gonna stir that up until the sauce gets nice and glossy and shiny. We're gonna take it off the heat then, and we're gonna add back our cauliflower. So again, it's really important to take it off the heat because you don't want the steam to end up getting our cauliflower all soggy after we work so hard to make them so crunchy. And we're just gonna stir it very gently until all of the cauliflower is evenly coated in that insanely delicious sauce. We're gonna add a little bit of sesame oil as well as some sesame seeds. And that is it, guys. Look at this dish. My mouth is watering. I am seriously drooling right now because I am thinking of how it tasted. It is so good. You get the heat from the peppers and you taste the insane umami of the gochujang along with the different soy sauces and the mushroom sauce. And the cauliflower brings this unique flavor to it all on its own. It's so good. Crunchy on the outside and then dissolves in your mouth in the inside. It is so good, guys. You guys are gonna love this recipe. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, please remember to hit that like button below. And if you don't wanna miss out on my next Korean vegan recipe, please hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you all soon.